hi and welcome back to my channel my name is Joanna if you have if you're new to the channel thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching and if you are an old subscriber thank you very much you know how much I treasure you guys um, today I'm back with another haul video for you guys and you know I love hauls I do a lot of hauls and yeah I love doing hauls lately I've been on a redecorating my house like um, in a redecorating my house phase and I've been like kind of like just changing things up because I get bored after a while and like I usually like add on or sort of like re re change my furniture like paint it another color or whatever so yeah that's what I've been doing lately um but also I've been shopping and I went shopping to the charity shop and I want to sh show you guys what I got from that charity shop um shopping trip so without wasting any time, let's just get right into the video. The first thing that I got from the charity shop. Okay, so this is a charity shop haul. I, you know how it is. If you're a charity shop shopper, you know sometimes you can go to the charity shop and find absolutely nothing. And then you go some days and you can't even carry everything home. Well, this shopping trip when I went, I didn't really find much. And so I didn't want to just give you guys like, I didn't want to just haul about two things. I wanted to... um show you a bit more things i also wanted um to well I, then i then decided that i would make this um a whole video of the things that i got but i also like at the end like i will add on the things that i have had for a while that i absolutely love that i've got from a charity shop as well but i've never put it in a haul so i will do this for you guys in this same um, video so without wasting any time let's just get right jump right into it the first thing that's new and that i got lately is this um vase right here as you guys know if you know me or have watched a few of my whole videos i love everything like earth decoration so my um my decorating is like um modern rustic Scandinavian um, minimalism. I always confuse Scandinavian minimalism and Scandinavian for Scandinavian simplicity. It's my home decor. I get my inspiration from Scandinavian minimalism, um, rust, modern rustic, and a little bit of shabby chic. So this is. Um, one of the things that I got from the charity shop, it was three pounds. Yep, I do have the tag there. I do remove the tags sometimes, but that was three pounds from the charity shop. And um, yeah, I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's massive and I, uh, it's sitting down in my sitting room and I absolutely love it. So that's the first thing that I got. The second thing that I got from the charity shop is um, in my other thrift store haul that I have on my channel I showed you guys a mini version of this and um, this is one of those trays that um, open up it's like a bed tray and it's got there the feet oops uh, it's got a feet on both sides of um, it's massive like literally would not fit in the um, in the video if I didn't have to fall back but yeah that's what it looks like and I got that from a charity shop for £1.50. It's from Dan's. I went shopping lately to Dan's. I think I've put it in my whole, the whole video, like just before this whole video um, that I put up a few days ago. I put this in, um, I, I had a thing that I got from Dan's. When I went to buy that thing in Dan's, I came across these in Dan's and they're £20 for a big one of this size. But I got mine from a charity shop, luckily for like one pound fifty so that was a, a great find i love these i love them for the one I, I showed you in my other um charity shop haul i got like an um sit one where you can like uh put beside your sofa in, in the sitting room this one is a bed one it really like i've been using it ever since i got it i've been using it i can have breakfast in bed now without spilling and like ruining my bed i also use this for like putting my laptop on it and working in from if i want to work in bed and like work on my laptop this is great for that purpose so i love this a lot like it's been such a great find i use it all the time so that's the second thing that i got 
the third thing that I got from the charity shop and seriously you won't believe how much this is I got this from the charity shop I already have one that I got from TK Max and I put it in a haul as well and that's like my dream mortar and pestle it's um stone when I was in a charity shop I came across that and this is like literally on trend right now because uh, marble is on trend marble and copper are like on trend but when I thought saw this I thought oh I can use it somewhere just for decorating I won't be using that for its purpose that it's used for I'll just decorate because I absolutely love my stone one but I couldn't leave it in a charity shop for a pound so I got it I don't have the sticker unfortunately I took it off but yeah so I got that for a pound. I absolutely love it. It's like all marble and it's super, super heavy. Like it's literally stone heavy. So that's, um, some, that's another thing that I got that I really like. The other thing that I got is this right here. I don't know. It's a coaster and it's absolutely cute. I, I love fairy tale and like rabbity things and I, I just really, really like it. It was 25p. So I thought, why not? And I'm just using it in my bedroom beside uh, my bed, my nightstand because, on my nightstand because I um, drink tea a lot in bed and stuff. So I am um, using that as a coaster beside my bed. The other thing that I got, um, country style. I love country style kitchens. I love that green that comes with country style kitchens. And so I get a lot of things that are in that type of green. The, one of the things that I got is this right here and it's just a hot um, pot stand and it's so beautiful It's in that green that I really really love and yeah, it was a pound as well from the charity shop Usually when I'm buying home Decor from a charity shop. I usually don't go above five pounds I actually have very little things that I've got for a fiver especially when it's kitchenware I do not go that high I usually always get my things at like one pound um, two pound three pound if it's really really like really really good I'll get it at three pound four pound or five pound but most of my things are gonna be a pound because that's that's what I do like I always, I always go and look for like really really great finds so that there was like a pound and I got that so yeah the other thing that I got and I absolutely love this this is a um, garlic store storage and it's just like that it's like a pot and I'm putting in my garlic right now it has this cover and on the cover it just has garlic on it it just says garlic and a uh, garlic sort of like decor at the top and just holes all around it I absolutely love this as well. I got that for a pound fifty in a charity shop and I really really loved it. So yeah. So I think those are the th things that I got um lately. Oh sorry. Another thing that I um yeah. Another thing that I got, I want to start collecting milk glass for decor. I plan that one day Hopefully, I will bump into my dream um, display cabinet for my dining room. I haven't found that yet. I'm looking for it. I want a, a rustic style, but I do not want to pay a lot for it. So, I will wait, as I always do with my home decor things. I will wait until I find something like of a reasonable price, and I preferably want to get it from a charity shop. So, when I do that, I want to display my milk glass um collection on that so this is my first in the collection i got that for 50p in a charity shop i really literally want to start collecting that so um yeah i love it it's like a chavez thing going on absolutely love it so i'll just collect all kinds of like tumblers and glasses and all this like in milk glass and then i'll display them i'll show you guys later as my channel goes back goes on when i complete that Another thing, it's a set that I got from a charity shop. I got um, the teapot separately and this is the teapot right now. I've been absolutely loving this teapot. Like I use it sometimes, not all the time because I have my regular teapot. This teapot, I use it most of the time to just decorate my, um, in my kitchen. I have this, um, uh, like a cupboard. It's a display cupboard. Like I kind of like pulled out the doors to my um 
cupboard in the kitchen and I just use that one cupboard to display all the beautiful things that I have in the kitchen. So this I got for a pound also in a charity shop and um, it was separate from what I'm going to show you guys set, uh, next of, although they're all my might and they're all match. So I absolutely really really loved this and uh, I love it still. I've used it a few times. It looks so beautiful when I... Um, decorate a playful tea morning table i love it i love it so much so that was the first thing that i got that was a pound i also got um these for two pounds the three of them first in the set was this toast um rack it's just um it holds your toast and it's just a toast rack holder it's uh has marmite on it and it's like very very like such a close match with the oops, such a close match with the teapot like they you would actually almost think it's the same thing but it's not i got them if it is the same if it is a set maybe i didn't get them from the same charity shop so i don't know about that but yeah it's such a good great decor thing in my display cupboard oops and then i got its knife um, it just has Marmite sign on it. And then I also got the Marmite jar. This is actual Marmite. There's Marmite in it. But because it's from the charity shop, like I'd never use it for food. So I just keep the, the tin with it, that closed. It wasn't opened at all. Like the set was never used because that's like literally like sealed. So I got that and I just use it in a cover in the cupboard that I've told you guys about for decor. I will try and take a picture and put it on Instagram if there's not a picture on Instagram before. I'm sure the tip the tip one is on Instagram because I've had that for a bit. But this Marmite jar and the toast rack I got later on after the teapot so they wouldn't be I do not think they're on Instagram but anyway on my Instagram so yeah another thing that I got from the charity shop a while ago and I absolutely love it and I need to wash it is um, this jar right here it was also a pound from the charity shop I absolutely love white. I use white a lot in my home for decorating and yeah, I really, really like that. So that's the other, I will, I will break this. So I will just put it down and avoid the situation where I may break it. The other thing that I also got from the uh, charity shop is uh, another jar. This jar was like um, free because the people that sell... I mean, I go to charity shops so much. So the people in the charity shops, they know me. Like, as in, they see me there a lot. So they gave me this just for free because it is cracked. I don't think you guys can see, but it's badly cracked. Like, you can't use it for any... I'm trying... Oh, yeah. They're inside. It's just cracked, really. Like, you can't use it for anything apart from, like... Um, decor it just says good morning let the stress begin it wasn't even put on the shelf yet it was on a on a trolley I think they were going to throw them away or something and I was like how much is that the lady was like you come here a lot anyway you can have that I was like thank you oh wow I was like thank you very much I will have that so I use that for decor I've had this for a bit but it's one of my absolute favorite finds from the charity shop. And I absolutely, like, in the kitchen, sometimes I've put flowers in it, like fake flowers, and just getting up in the morning and, like, literally seeing it on the windowsill with good morning, let's, let, let the stress begin on it. I absolutely love it. So, yeah, this is one of my most favorite charity shop finds. And guess what? It was free. So, yeah. I like that. And then another thing that I got for for a pound in a charity shop is just um, tying in together with that rustic style thing that I thumb that I love. It's just like this um, tray and I use this for a lot of things, carrying things, decorating for decor in the kitchen and stuff. I've used that for a bit and yeah, I really, really love it. It's just like such a great find for that price. I absolutely love it. I always say, I think I've said this before in my other videos. 
I think that for me, it is impossible for me to have achieved the look in my house that I achieve if it wasn't for charity shops because I am into modern rustic. I feel like all my farm house and like old things that I have in my house that give my house the old, like comfortable look to my house. I always think that like I find that in charity shops. I don't really find that in shops because shops just sell brand new things and they don't have that old lived in thing. So it's always charity shops or one vintage store that I go to that I get these things from. So yeah. Check out charity shops if you do not shop in a charity shop. It's an absolute, like most things there are an absolute bargain. And I absolutely love charity shops. So get, get that a, um, give that a try. The other thing still on the tray, um, trend. The other thing that I got from the charity shop is this tray here. And it is a set with that tray. It's just like a big tray and then it comes with the tiny little tray. And again, that's the country green that I was talking to you guys about that I really, really love. So, um, yeah, I use that a lot. I think I ripped the price off. It was £1.50 for the two of them. Really, really inexpensive. And guys, if you could touch the quality of that, it's like really thick and really good quality. It has that there. I probably should scan that barcode. And it just says um, fruit medley. I absolutely love it. Like really, really nice. It's so such such good. It's nothing like the trays you get, like those cute trays you get from Poundland, which I have a few of. This is nothing like that. When I found this, I could not believe it's one pound fifty. Could not believe it. So I absolutely love that, and I um, yeah, definitely a good find. The other thing that I found, this is really interesting, and this is my own creation. Maybe it's used for that, and if you guys know what it's used for, tell me about it. So I found this, and it's like um, a tray and a, a brush set. This is like just the brush for um, that. It came together anyway, like that, like so. And I thought about this when I saw it in the charity shop. I was like, I could take this, wash it all wash it up and then use it you know like when you work on your work tables like you make toast and there's like bread crumbs everywhere to dust it off your tabletop i always find that like a difficulty so when i found this i was like this is so great so i ruined it with that color it was all this color but i dipped it in bleach to take get to make sure it's clean because it's bored so I dipped it in bleached and base in bleach and basically bleached it and washed it all up but for some reason the brush is what came up like that and it got ruined but I don't mind that at all I just think it's still beautiful and I use it for my boards to like scoop everything anything out of my boards that I can't pick up the sharp edge of this I don't know how I can show you guys it's like a slanty edge here. Yeah, there you can see it. It's like such a great picker. So I absolutely, absolutely love this brush and pan. And it's my brush and pan for the table countertops and work stations in the kitchen. So yeah. That's why I don't know what it's used for. If you guys know what it's naturally used for or what it is, then let me know. Another thing that I do not like really not sure exactly what its use is for is this right here. And this comes with this um, side and it's like you can pull it, oops, you can pull it open like that. It has a tray in there and it just says, um, it has those words there like baguette, whatever, whatever on it. And what I do is that when I make, I love chicken baguettes. So when I put my baguette in the oven to like crusty up and I need to like crusty up like um get all crunchy and like bake a bit i always um need a board to cut it what i love about this board and that's what i use it for i bought it from the pound for from the charity shop for a pound as well is that i can open this tray and um dust out the crumbs the crumbs fall on that surface and not on my boards and so i have been using to cut bread and all that like um 
bready type of thing or anything that has crumbles and like will crumble i always cut this i uh, use that board for it and i like really really love it so yeah guys that was um the haul and thank you guys for watching um see you in my next video i hope you enjoyed these videos um please comment uh subscribe and let me know how you feel about this video do you go vintage um shopping what do you get from the vintage shop um if you have videos on your channel let me know about it i love watching hauls so i'll definitely come to your channel and check that out and yeah let's um start a conversation in the conversation bar below sorry conversation bar in the comment bar below and i will see you guys in my next video thank you guys for watching and stay blessed Mwah. thank you guys